Hi everyone, my name is Jitin Jaspal and I am an instructor for CCNA. Actually, I'm, uh, this video is exactly for demonstration which I will discuss with you what topic I will cover in CCNA. So complete CCNA module will take what? It will take 45 hours. I will provide you books, slides, tools and software. If you talk about tools, so we have two software that is called Packet Tracer and GNS. If you want to what? work with real devices so we can provide real devices access no problem so let's discuss what exactly topic which i will cover in our complete 45 hour session so the topic exactly you can see here the topic exactly what we have a first topic that is called inter networking device in inter networking device i will discuss with you the basic function of the devices like what is hub what is router what is switch what is bridge what is gateway because if I if I'm working in an organization or if I want to start work with an organization, if I want to purchase a router, so I required what? I required to know which router is good for my organization. Because you know in Cisco we have three layer hierarchical model for devices. We have access layer of router, we have distribution layer router, we have core layer routers. Okay. The next topic, see the internet working device will take three hours. The next topic which I want to discuss with you, the topic is what OSI model. OSI model will take what three hour session. You know, if you want to troubleshoot your network, so you need to know the OSI model concept. Because in OSI model, we have what we have, we will discuss about layers. We have seven layers, application, presentation, session, transport, network, data and physical layer. So we have seven layers and we need to know the function of each and every layer. So that is important. The second topic is what OSI model. This will it will take what three hour session. The next module which I will discuss with you that is called what TCP/IP protocol suite. TCP/IP protocol suite is what the TCP/IP protocol suite is related with protocols where I will discuss about the basic function of all the protocol like what is HTTP, what is HTTPS, what is DNS, what is DSCP, what is SMTP, okay, what is SNMP. So I will discuss about the basic function of all the protocols, how to configure it. Yes, I will discuss, you know, complete TCP IP protocol suite will take three hour session. And the next topic is very important for you. If you are working with servers, Linux, okay, uh, or you can say firewall, router, switches, you need to know the topic that is called what IP addressing. This is the IP addressing and IP addressing this, see, only IP addressing will take six hour session or you can say you have to spend three days to learn complete IP addressing concept where I will discuss about the subnetting concept. In subnetting, we will discuss about two type, two, two type of method. We will discuss about what FLSM and VLSM. So see, in subnetting portion, we have two models, FLSM and VLSM. The complete IP addressing will take six hour session the next topic which i will discuss with you guys that is called a basic command on router yes this is the first day on router you will start with me to learn basic command all the basic command on router like uh, if i'm working with a router so on first day how to access this router so yes we have a console cable we will discuss with you how to access i will i will create a physical devices topology lab and, and discuss with you and see the exactly the video will take what exactly I will share with, with the video okay if you are not uh, physically here if you are online student so I will provide I will create a video physical device video and send it to you so you can go through with it the next topic which I will discuss with you that is called I already to I already told you that that is called what basic command on route it will take three hours like uh, what is basic command? See, in basic command, I will discuss about what? I will discuss about how to access this device. If there is a password on the router, so how to how to break it? If I want to take a backup of router configuration or router operating system, this these are the basic command exactly. The next module which I will discuss with you that is called what? IP routing concept. In IP routing concept, which I will discuss with you, what complete routing. So with the help of IP routing, you can connect different network and different location with each other. 
in ip routing concept we will discuss about three method first static routing default routing and dynamic routing complete ip routing section will take 7 day or you can say you have to spend with me 14 hour to learn complete ip routing concept in dynamic routing portion i will discuss about three protocols first rip then ergrp then ospf you know rip will take one day session ergrp will take two day session and ospf will take two day session so i already told you that for dynamic route for complete ip routing concept you have to spend what you have to spend seven day or you can say 14 hours okay okay once you complete uh, ip routing concept okay connectivity part then we will move for switching because in in your lan you always work with switch see these are the switches okay so how to work with switches okay so we have a topic that is called switching and in switching you we will discuss about a lots of topic we will discuss about vlan trunking vtp inter vlan routing port security stp we have a lots of topic in switching you know like ip routing switching will also take what it will take seven days session you can say you have to spend with me 14 hour training to learn complete switching with me okay once you complete switching concept then we have our next topic that is called layer 3 security that is called acl acl is very important for you right now you are learning ccna you want to start ccna you know acl is important that's called access control list why acl is important because right now you will discuss how to configure acl on router but you know in future if you are working with multi-layer switch or if you are working with firewall so acl exactly is called packet filtering firewall method so acl you can configure on router on switches and on firewall so this topic is very important for you in for future the next topic is exactly related with what it's exactly related with ip version 6 concept next generation ip yes for ip version 6 configuration i will discuss with you you know i will give you complete four hour session or you can say two day session you will get uh, for ipv6 in ipv6 i will discuss the first basic concept why ipv6 what is ipv6 okay how many bit we have what is the format of ipv version 6 okay all the basic thing global address type of ipv version 6 and if we have ipv version 4 then why ipv version 6 what is the difference between ipv version 4 and ipv version 6 we have a topics you know in ipv version 6 concept we have one more topic that is called ipv6 address configuration it is very important because in ipv6 address configuration we have two method first is a static method second is in dynamic and you know in dynamic we have two options we have first stateless auto configuration second is what stateful auto configuration then see the next topic in ip version 6 that is called ipv6 routing yes like ip version 4 routing i will tell you how to configure connectivity how to do con connectivity okay how to do configuration in ip version 6 network it's mean what ipv6 routing that's very important for you okay so yes i will discuss static default and dynamic routing in ip version 6 once you complete ip version 6 then we will move for the next topic that is called what nat configuration nat is very important for you because nat you can configure on router and on firewall also because with the help of NAT, you can translate from one IP to another IP. Or you can say that you can translate from private to public. So yes, in NAT, we have three portions. We have a static NAT, we have dynamic NAT, we have PAT, that is called port address translation. NAT will take complete three hour session. The next topic which I will discuss with you, that is called what? IP services okay that is called what exactly load balancing or you can say for gateway load balancing in ip services i will discuss about three protocol this topic is very important for you because this topic you can configure on router and on switches in ip services we will discuss about three protocols that is what hsrp vrrp and glbp the next topic which i will discuss with you that is called van technology that 
yes we have a some theoretical portion topic okay we have some uh, theoretical topics you can say like i will discuss what is triple p technology that is called what van technology van technology so what is what what is triple p what is sdlc what is what is mpls what is vpn what is sd van what is what is network automation what is sdn technology so yes guys we have complete this session that is what what van technology now guys this these are the csna module i already told you that in csna it will take 45 hour so you have to learn csna with me okay best of luck guys thank you so much